Columbus, we have a huge task ahead of all of us. We must build this district to the district that we know it can be. And I believe Dr. Chapman can help us do that. Tonight, the Columbus City Schools Board of Education voted to hire Dr. Angela Chapman as the next superintendent. Thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 11. I'm Colleen Marshall. And I'm Kerry Charles. Dr. Chapman served as the district's superintendent, the interim superintendent, after Dr. Talisa Dixon announced she would be retiring at the end of the school year. NBC4's Caleb Michael was at that board meeting tonight and got the chance to speak with Dr. Chapman after what was a unanimous vote. Vote, Caleb? Yeah, it was Colleen. Dr. Chapman says she was speechless tonight when she learned she'd be Columbus City Schools the next superintendent. But now that she is officially in this new role, she says she is ready to get to work. A room full of cheering and applause. That was the reaction to a unanimous vote by the Columbus City Schools Board of Education to make Dr. Angela Chapman its next superintendent. I have all the confidence in Dr. Angela Chapman to be able to move this district forward. Dr. Chapman has been serving as interim superintendent since the beginning of this year. Ever since I stepped into the role on January 1, I have considered every day on the job as an interview. And board members took notice. But I think what I found most compelling and interesting was the community's support. The community and what they had to say about her. Um, and I think that for me specifically, that became that tilting factor. After two months of interviews, 31 applicants and a $250,000 search, it's official. I've always felt as if I can do it. Um, certainly stepping into the role, I knew that it would be a heavy lift, um, but certainly uh, that heavy lift was no match for the passion that I have for the students and our district and our community. The Columbus branch of the NAACP would not speak with us on camera tonight, but its president voiced concerns over the process. You have failed us. You have failed us, you have failed the children, and you have failed the parents and the entire community. But the board stands by its hiring process and its decision to appoint Dr. Chapman to move the district forward. Focusing on early literacy and graduation and matriculation and really making sure that we are spreading the importance of attendance, that message to our, getting that message to our community. But really tonight was about celebration. And as Dr. Chapman would say, she's just grateful. This work is a my mission and my way of serving our community. And certainly um, I'm looking forward to the opportunity. The Board of Education says the next steps are the legal process to draft a contract for Dr. Chapman. No timeline on when that will be, but she will begin her duties as superintendent immediately. Carrie, Colleen. All right, thanks so much, Caleb. And you can learn more about Dr. Chapman, her credentials, and a profile we have online right now at NBC4i.com.